Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Today's video is about MRCP part 1 preparation. I will tell you about the preparation of MRCP part 1, resources required for this exam and how much time you need to study for it and a lot more. Before we start, let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Mubashra and I am currently working as a consultant medical specialist in one of the prestigious institute of Pakistan. Many people texted me that how to study for MRCP part 1, what to study and from where to start. So I decided to guide you regarding this. I hope this video will be beneficial for not only the recent graduates of medical universities and colleges, but also for the internist and postgraduate residents who want to excel further in their career. So let's get started. First of all, MRCP basically stands for Membership of Royal College of Physicians. In order to become a member, you need to complete all three steps of MRCP exam. Once you make up your mind that you are going to appear in this exam, first you need to register yourself on the MRCP UK website that is www.mrcpuk.org. Once you register yourself, you need to send your primary medical qualification, that is your MBBS degree, I mean its photocopy signed by the member or fellow of Royal College of Physicians. After that, you can apply for MRCP Part 1 exam. You can apply for the MRCP Part 1 exam whenever the window period opens or whenever you are ready to apply for this exam. There are two centers in Pakistan, one is in Lahore and one in Karachi. You can choose the center according to your own choice. There are many more international centers available and of course UK centers. You can check all the information available on the website of MRCP UK. Now coming towards the pattern of exam. MRCP part 1 basically consists of two papers, paper 1 and paper 2. These are written MCQs based paper. Each paper is of 3 hours duration and the total number of MCQs are 100. There is no picture inside uh, MRCP part 1. And both papers are conducted on the same day of the exam and they are multiple choice questions. You have to choose the best option and there is a gap of 1 hour in between the two papers. Now let's talk about what to expect on the exam day. It is basically a paper based exam that is you have to fill the OMR sheets. You have to fill basically the small boxes or bubbles for each question and you need to mark and fill the question quite carefully. This is actually quite terrifying for me cause I keep on checking the filled answers that whether I have filled the correct box or not. Most of the time they have given the boxes in the form of rectangle shape. So make sure that you have marked the uh, correct question. Uh, I mean uh, be careful while solving the paper. Now let's talk about the preparation strategy. How you need to prepare for this exam and what time period it requires. The time frame basically varies for everyone. Some people require 5 to 6 months for preparation and some can do it even in 2, 3 or 4 months of preparation. It is a doable exam and it is not very difficult. If you study dedicatedly for approximately 3 months, you can do it. But daily you need to spare at least 5 to 6 hours, hours for preparation if you are following the 3 month study plan. But if you have a job or are currently working, and you can only spare two or, two or three hours daily, then give it a time frame of five or six months. Because no doubt it is an expensive exam and one should be prepared well enough before attempting. Now coming towards the resources for preparation. Basically the study re material required for MRCP part one. These are first of all, the most important resource is Q banks that is question banks. There are many Q banks available for MRCP part 1 but the recommended Q banks are mainly three. Pass medicine, pass test and BMG. 
and among them fast medicine is the best of all then comes your reference books there are multiple reference books available in the market philip kalra oxford handbook of clinical medicine maghribi notes notes and notes by i think dr yusuf and suda medica notes but let me tell you one thing that keep one reference book only so that it will be easy for you to revise past papers these are very important and then come sample questions which are available on the mrcp website so let's talk about past medicine past medicine among all the q banks available past medicine is the most important and i would suggest that you keep online subscription of past medicine you can take this subscription from their website pastmedicine.com some people even prepare with offline past medicine or even from the book because some people have quite difficulty in studying from mobile or tablet and they opt from hard copy in the form of book there are multiple volumes available in the market but i would personally recommend that online subscription will be better because you can solve the questions even in the hospital whenever you get free during your ward rounds and in your opds i mean in between whenever you get free time you can solve these questions but the choice is obviously yours whatever suits you go for it one important benefit of past medicine online subscription is that you can evaluate yourself in a better way you will get text um, in the form of i mean revision notes and even also the uh, topics in the form of you can search on the past medicine website the subscriptions are available for 4 months or 6 months and the charges for 4 months is i think 35 pounds and the number of questions are more than 4000 and they keep on upgrading it there are different chapters available and the mcqs are based according to the chapters and you can solve either in the sequence wise i mean one chapter mcqs and even random questions like what you get in exam because what happens whenever we are studying from book if we give it first read okay you have given it second read as well if you are revising it for the third time and your memory is so sharp you can remember the question not even before reading you will remember that okay its answer is this so sometimes it becomes annoying that you are just uh, rectifying it so this does not happen when you are studying from mobile because it will give you different mcqs different chapters and random questions like you get in the exam the second q bank is past test past test is comparatively difficult from past medicine you can keep its offline copy or you can solve it from the book choice is obviously yours there are some genius doctors who can pass with studying only past medicine but what happens actually your background knowledge matters a lot now now i want to share with you people my strategy for mrcp part 1 preparation what i basically did was first of all i read a chapter or a topic from the reference book i kept maghribi notes as my reference book because first i started with suda notes and i feel that they are quite insufficient these uh, maghribi notes are not only beneficial in mrcp part 1 preparation but they are also very beneficial in mrcp part 2 preparation IMM preparation as well as FCPS part two preparation. So first, read a chapter or a topic from your reference book. After that, solve the questions from past medicine, and then the MCQs from the same chapter from past test, and keep on adding notes on your reference book because they will help you in your revision a lot. Now let's talk about. the study plan of 3 months that is how you can prepare your exam in 3 months i would suggest make a study plan in such a way that you complete all your first read in the initial 2 months and it is doable if you spend 4 to 6 hours daily and at least try to do 100 mcqs on daily basis 
after completion of first read in the two months from past medicine and past test now it's time for revision in the last month whatever you have studied till now revise it and also do past papers and sample questions from the mrcp uk website Basically, this is all about MRCP Part One preparation, which I wanted to share with you people. And uh, again, I am telling you that it is a doable exam. It is not very difficult. Only drawback is that it is a bit expensive. And I would suggest if you want to prepare for it, just follow one reference book and keep on adding notes on it from past medicine and past test, all the points which are not mentioned in your reference book. With this strategy, you can achieve your target with the help of Allah Almighty. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find it useful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.